everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we will model frying pan so let's get started first of all we need to hold down shift a and let's add the circle like this just zoom in and i have uh, installed the screencast keys add-on to show you what I'm pressing, what buttons I'm pressing here. So uh, hit the top key to to toggle edit mode. Also, we need let's uh, drag it a little bit up. So then I'm going to model the body of the frame pan. So extrude along the z axis. Just like this, then let's scale it out just a tiny bit like this. Also, we need to, to model and to continue reshaping the base of this frame pan. We need to select the edge loop of the bottom of this frame pan. Hold down ALT, then click on the left mouse button like this to select this loop of vertices then hit E, click on the left mouse button and let's try to scale it just a tiny bit uh, to the center of this uh, base like this we need also to because of this uh, hollow hollow uh, bottom i think we don't need to don't need to drag it up or down just uh, that should be fine also we need to hit ctrl f to grid fill also as shown here i think uh, this will be so good then let's try to add some geometry. Ctrl R to add a look at just a tiny bit like this and to drag it close to this edge. And also need to add some loop cuts close to this, as shown here. Ctrl R to add another loop cut. I think this will be fine so let's uh, continue modeling this uh, part hit e click on the left, left mouse button then extrude it out just a little bit like this then hit e then scale it Along the z axis, just uh, and a bit. I think uh, I should undo the operation. Control Z, then Shift Control Z to redo. Also, we need to extrude it along the z axis, just a tiny bit like this. I think this will be good and accurate for the topology of the frying pan so let's give it some thickness let's give it some thickness using the solidify modifier before uh, jumping into creating the handle at this side Click uh, on this uh, wrench button, add a modifier. Let's add solidify modifier. Then we need to increase uh, the thickness. I think this will be fine. And to make sure, make sure that uh, we have you now identical parts over there.
just like this. So let's apply the solid frame modifier. Okay, to toggle it is mode, object mode, and apply. Then it is mode again. So let's uh, make the handle on this part, hit uh, 3 on the numpad, switch to face selection mode like this, then let's try to insert using the I key, just uh, think this will be good like this, orbit around, then Delete these faces, hit X to delete faces like this. I think we have no problem with the, some topology issues. So hold down the Alt, click on the left mouse button. You should select uh, edges like this. Then we try to extrude on the X axis. Just a tiny bit. Like this, then extrude it again. I think uh, this will be so good also. Then extrude again on the X axis. Later we will resize some loops. So let's extrude again on the X axis. Grab it uh, on X axis just uh, much more. Let's make sure that the uh, proportions are good and create with uh, the shape and uh, some dimensions like this need to grab this part on the axis also hold down alt then grab this part on the z axis just a little bit also let's do it for this part for this loop grab on the z axis Also for this part, Alt, grab on Z axis, Alt and grab on the Z axis like this, This will be so fine, so let's resize some parts like uh, doing it again. I'm trying to use uh, these tools. Also, we need over here to resize it and make it um, much smaller than this, these two parts. We need to add another loop cut, I think. And to make it just smaller, resize it. Tiny bit like this, I think will be so fine. A 
So we need to resize this as shown here. Control Z. Also, you can use GG to control Z, then scale it. Like this. Also, what you have here, also, we need to resize this part. Scale it out just a tiny bit. I think we should add another look at over here. Control R to add another look at, then drag it. Close to this. I think part it's good. So let's scale it out just a tiny bit. I think it will be fine. We need to apply also the subdivision surface modifier. Set the level to 2. I think what we have created is a great shape. No mistakes. Shade it smooth as shown here. They have created a nice and good topology with no shade issues. And I'm going to add in some important loop cuts for uh, our 3D model. See you in the next tutorial to add more geometry to our 3D model frying pan. Thanks for watching.